Hi everyone, this is Miss Rogers of the Learning Commons, and this video shows you how to cite a podcast episode. So on the screen right now, I have some common places where people listen to podcasts. So maybe you have found a podcast on Stitcher or Apple Podcasts or Spotify or another app that's probably on your phone or some other mobile device. If you have found a podcast in one of these places, I recommend you do a search online for that podcast. So I found, speaking of psychology, on an app that I have on my phone. It is a podcast produced by the American Psychological Association. And so what I did was I searched for that podcast online. And this is the podcast website. So it has information about the podcast and it lists the episodes. So this is the route I would recommend you go before you cite. So now that I have this website up, I'm going to go over to Noodle Tools. If I scoot this over, you can see a little bit that I'm logged in over here. These are all of my projects listed below and I'm going to open up my social media project. I happen to already have a bunch of sources uh, saved to mine. Now I'm ready to add my podcast. So I'm going to go to new source, this green button in the top right corner. And then from these gray options, I'll select file app ebook. Okay, so I have two podcast options here. I have audio podcast. That's if you only listen to the podcast. And this is true for most podcasts. If, however, yours happens to be a video podcast instead, you can select this option. When in doubt, though, select audio podcast. So I'll select that. And before we dig into what to fill in all these spots, um, I want to point out this section right here that says digital file or website. So you will use the digital file option if you have not found your podcast online if you have only found it through one of these apps like Spotify or Apple Podcasts on your mobile device. So you would type in Apple Podcasts or Spotify or whatever app you use to listen to the podcast. If, however, you have found the website also online, I'm going to click on website, okay, and I'm going to show you how to fill in the blanks for this website. So I want to fill in as many of these boxes as possible. So the name of the website is usually at the top, American Psychological Association. So I'm going to type that in here. And if you've done anything incorrectly, um, this will give you information to help you correct. The publisher of the site is usually at the very, very bottom. And I see it often right next to the copyright, that little C inside the circle and the date. So in this case, American Psychological Association, it's the same. So in that case, I don't need to fill anything in. And this little I will tell you that. Um, if, however, it's different at the bottom, you can fill in that new name. Okay, and then the URL is just my URL from the top here. So I'm going to control C to copy that and control V to paste. Okay. And then the most recent date of access simply means when did you last visit this site? What's nice is if you click the word today, it fills in today's date. Okay, so now I need the title of the podcast episode. So I'm going to scroll back to the top. And I didn't use this episode. I used this episode, episode 231, What's Behind the Crisis in Teen Mental Health with Kathleen Either, PhD. I'm not going to do the episode number because there's another spot for that, but I will copy this. So I highlight, control C to copy, go over here, control V to paste. Ooh, look, I got one of those yellow triangles. What it says is I need to capitalize all of the important words in the sentence or in the title. So look, it even shows me which words to capitalize, which is very convenient. So I'm going to capitalize this, but not the phrase that's not in. Mental. 
So we'll take away that. All right, look, I'm all set. Okay, so below that, that's where it asks for my season number and my episode number. Now notice mine doesn't say a season. You know how sometimes it'll say season four, episode 11, for instance, or even S4, that S stands for season. I don't have a season, so I'm going to leave that box blank. But my episode number, put that right here. Okay. Now I need the name of the podcast. So the name of the podcast is right here, speaking of psychology. Oh, look, there it is right there. I'm going to copy that, paste that in right here. If my capitalization is incorrect, that yellow triangle will pop up again. Okay, producer, distributor of the podcast. That I might need to dig around a little bit. Um, what I like is I have some information right here. Speaking of psychology is an audio podcast. Oh, look, it says produced by the American Psychological Association. Well, there's the information I need. So I'm going to copy the name of that organization, which was also the name of my website, right? Okay. But no yellow triangles popped up, so that must be really good. Okay, so contributors. That means who are the people involved? You can see these options, host, a narrator, or a producer. So again, I'm on my general page. I'm not in the episode page. Look, on the right here, it says your host, Kim I. Mills. All right, so there's my host. So I go to role, and I'm going to change it to host, Kim I. Mills. Okay, a lot of podcasts have multiple hosts. So if you need to add um, a second or third host, you just hit this blue button that says add contributor. If for some reason I accidentally add too many, I can hit this little trash can to get rid of one. And next I have my publication date. So there it is right there underneath the episode title, March 22nd, 2023. So I'll change that to March 22nd, 2023. Okay. Um, this is an option, or it may be a requirement for your assignment and annotation are your notes on the source, but not required to cite it. I have filled in everything I was able to. So now I'm going to hit this blue button that says save. And here is my podcast saved. If you have any questions or if you have any trouble finding information about your podcast to fill in those boxes, um, please reach out, click on the orange button, and send me an email. Good luck.